We meet Henry Obiero at his home at Kochogo village, Kisumu County. Here, he is popularly known as Mtuwa Mafuta. It is a nickname he earned from his work, which entails making of products such as jelly from his beekeeping venture. I left Nairobi in 1999, then I came home, then I met somebody who told me about beekeeping. I got interested in beekeeping, but I didn't have money by then. In fact, I started by using only my strength and little scale I had. Once you get to his home, you will find him displaying some of the products he has processed, such as the bisaline jelly, which he confirms is a favorite among his customers. Obiero officially began beekeeping in 2003 after receiving training from a non governmental organization empowering farmers in the area. Once you have uh, uh, taken a beehive to the apiary, don't expect bees to go inside the same day. It will take some time. It depends. Sometimes it can take a few days, sometimes it takes a month before go, uh, the colony goes into the, uh, to the, apiary, to the beehive. One harvest, I was getting between 7,000 to 10,000, which was a good money by then. Today, Obero has a total of 68 beehives in different areas in Kisumu. From one hive, Obiero gets an average of 15 to 20 kilos of honey after every three months. But it is the bee wax he's largely focusing on today. We have got raw wax. The one we get direct from the combs and uh, we boil it to make it a wax. And uh, we, re we, re we, we, we take it for refining again to get pure wax. To make the bisaline jelly, which is the product's brand name, Obero mixes the bee wax with sunflower oil and aloe vera, which he sources from other farmers. He adds moringa and perfume to give it a pleasant scent. Obero does the entire packaging and processing right here at his home. He educates his customers on the benefits of the product. We are using for the skin, and it also it helps to, to cure infected and fresh wound. Also the bands. This is the value addition and we sometimes I do call it my innovation. It is what I'm using. Eh? And those who are using these bee products, they never get old. Somebody like me, I'm over 56 years, but I'm still looking a little bit young because of the bizarre jelly. At one point, Obero could get over 25 kgs of wax per harvest. But due to challenges, most of which have been brought about by global warming, he now gets between 15 to 20 kilos per harvest. Before, we were harvesting three, four times in a year. But nowadays, sometimes it forces us sometimes to harvest only once in a year. He is still testing sweet success as he packages his jelly in 50, 100 and 250 grams containers. We can only use 7 kg, only 7 kilos, to make almost 100 uh, bottles of uh, we sell at uh, those of 250 uh, grams. Beekeeping in Kenya is largely practiced in arid and semi-arid areas, which make up more than 70% of the country's landmass. Value addition is still at a low as farmers maintain the two main products, honey and wax, in their raw form. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm.